sexual health, what they don't tell you about protecting it. There are sources linked in this article, some of which are affiliate links. If you click on any of these and buy from them, then I will receive a small portion of compensation for this, which I very much appreciate. I hope these links help you as much as they help me. Now, in a recent broadcast on my YouTube channel, I was doing a bit of live chat with some viewers. The subject of sexual health came up, specifically HPV and herpes. Sexy, I know, right? <laughs> it's an uncomfortable, taboo topic for many. Did you know that the older we get, the more likely this is to become an issue we'll face? And many of us are already silently suffering alone. Yes, it's true. Some time ago, I learned that the senior population is surprisingly the age group where sexually transmitted diseases, STDs, spread most rampantly. Yes, grandma and grandpa down at the retirement home are getting it on, as Marvin Gaye once sang. I know, shocker, right? Why is this? Well, you know, apparently with more free time on their hands, more having need of companionship and less worries over the risk of pregnancy, sex happens. Now, some of you may be saying, well, that doesn't apply to me. I'm not a senior and far from being one, so who cares? Well, guess what? It's an age stage in life where we're all headed eventually. That'll be you and I. And just think about it logically. The longer you live, the more likely you are to have more sexual partners. The more sexual partners you've had, the more likely you are to contract an STD. So you see what I'm saying? If you want to avoid this late in life experience, better take precautions sooner than later. And no, I'm not going to repeat here what you've already heard elsewhere. Wrap it up with a condom and keep your pants on, abstinence. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to talk to you about protecting your immune system and using cutting edge lubricants and soaps that kill bacteria, fungi, viruses, and more. So let's get into it. The role of your immune system. It's been said that if your immune system is performing optimally, then you'll be able to fight off any viruses. But when it's compromised, usually from poor diet and stress, it cannot sustain such an attack. Now I mentioned poor diet here because it's been said that 80% of our immune system is in our gut. Yet if your gut health is bad, and for many it is, how can you possibly absorb the proper nutrients to fuel your body's ability to defend itself from such things, from such attacks? Quite simply, you can't. Now, I already wrote extensively about how to protect and boost your immune system naturally in my blog, so check out that link if you want to know more. In the future, I hope to share with you a blog post about doing a gut reset, which I personally experienced last year. But in the meantime, there's this, a quick regimen for resetting your gut to prevent and cure infections. Regardless of whether or not you're infected with an STD, consider benefits of rebuilding gut flora through a detox diet that would consist of eating primarily fruits and vegetables of all five colors. For example, blueberries blue, stop viruses from adhering to cell walls for 30 days. During these 30 days of primarily eating fruits and vegetables, you may add cilantro to remove heavy metals and you may supplement with the following. 200 milligrams of non-acidic vitamin C four times a day for a week and then two times a day to maintain. Two MCG of selenium one time a day to stop virus replication. 100 milligrams of zinc one time a day builds healthy stable wall cells, helps skin heal and protects skin. 700 milligrams of olive leaf extract take as the bottle directs. It's a powerful antioxidant and antiviral. There's also coconut oil, organic extra virgin, one teaspoon a day and increasing to two tablespoons over one to two weeks. Then hydrogen peroxide, 35% food grade, three drops in a mouthful of distilled water three times a day for 16 to 21 days. This is said to cure infections by killing microorganisms, but there is a warning here. Some swear by the effectiveness of this, while others claim that food-grade hydrogen peroxide should never be ingested. So use this at your own risk. I am not a doctor. I am simply passing on personal study that I have found. You need to take responsibility for your own health and, yes, consult your own trusted health care provider. Use this at your own risk, obviously, and stop using it immediately in the event of an adverse reaction.
Now, after these 30 days of primarily, you know, eating fruits and vegetables, the advice is take undiluted oil of oregano, 10 drops in a mouthful of water um, and consume no sugar, not even fruit. And if you consume meat, these meats are suggested lamb or salmon s seasoned with pink Himalayan sea salt. This is, by the way, the regimen cited by those who claim they have healed themselves from viruses like herpes or simply stopped outbreaks altogether despite being a carrier of the virus. And there are plenty more remedies that you can use to protect yourself from viruses, as you can see from Dr. Axe's infographic down below. Um, and he's showing the top 10 antiviral herbs, which are elderberry, echinacea, calendula, garlic, astragalus root, cat's claw, ginger, licorice root, olive leaf, and oregano. These antiviral herbs, well, going into a little bit more detail, astragalus root is said to boost the immune system, prevent colds and flu, inhibit herpes, heal wounds, and lower cortisol levels. Calendula is said to battle bacteria, combat inflammation, fight viruses, and treat infections. Cat's claw is said to heal digestive issues and herpes, heals digestive issues, cre treats colitis, leaky gut syndrome, IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, and stomach ulcers. Garlic is said to kill microorganisms responsible for infections. It remedies infections. Ginger is said to alleviate pain, break down the accumulation of toxins, clean lymphatic system, and lower inflammation. Echinacea is said to also alleviate pain, improve skin problems, inhibit bacteria and viruses from penetrating healthy cells, and reduce inflammation and viral infections. Elderberry is said to combat viruses, fight bacterial and viral infections, and also treat herpes. Licorice protects against leaky gut, reduces adrenal fatigue, relieves pain. Olive leaf is said to combat disease-causing microbes, destroy invading organisms, bites viruses like gonorrhea, meningitis, and treat infections of the urinary tract and more. And finally, oregano fights inflammation and can reverse some viral infections. Now, I'm going to talk a little bit more about supplements at the end um, because I, I've learned more since writing this. I, I originally posted this back in February of last year, and in the year's time, I've, I've learned a lot more. Uh, actually, it's been over about almost two years now. I've learned more about this, and so I'm going to share that with you, um, that addendum at the end. So stay tuned to the very end, particularly if you want to know about natural alternative strategies for preventing and healing from chlamydia, which is actually the most common STD. But getting on to uh, the section here on antimicrobial lubricants and soaps, well, of course, you know, yes, I could recycle the typical advice, wrap it up or zip it up. In other words, use a condom or don't have sex at all, especially if you know someone's infected. That sounds all nice and well, but back in reality land, where most of us live, <laughs> we want, we crave skin-to-skin -skin contact that condoms and abstinence don't allow. So here's a workaround. Antimicrobial lubricants and soaps. Before I go any further, let me first make these things clear. Number one, I am not getting any kind of paid endorsement from this company to say this. Number two, I have no direct experience with this product. I only know of the testimony of it from a user. Number three, I am not a doctor, nor do I have any experience with an STD. Number four, only you are responsible for your health care choices, okay? That said, I learned of this one-of-a-kind patented product that was used during the 2014 Ebola virus breakout where it was tested. It was developed by a biochemical engineer whose products are said to render inactive all microorganisms, bacteria, fungi, mycobacteria, spores, trypanosoma, and viruses. Forgive me if I mispronounced any of that because, as I mentioned before, I am not a healthcare professional. But anyway, all those things that I listed include, yes, herpes, HPV, and HIV. So the product I'm talking about is... Eviter lubricating gels and Eviter 
antiseptic soap. These are used in select hospitals, but as far as I know, can only be purchased in the United States through Amazon, which I have, I will have linked here. So they are said to offer a safe alternative to users, one of which I have heard swear by the effectiveness of this product in not transmitting the virus from an infected to uninfected partners. Now, despite claims that it has safely allowed skin-to-skin -skin contact without contracting herpes from an infected partner to an uninfected partner, it seems like good counsel to abstain from sex if the infected partner is in the middle of an outbreak, which is sane, common sense here, <laughs> or if the partner is undergoing a significant amount of stress that would leave someone's immune system compromised to make way for an outbreak, right? You probably just playing it safe would even even with the use of this lubricant maybe you just want to abstain right that's just my two cents on the subject but let's talk about this is this hope or is this heresy now it would seem based on this information that this is very good news for those who are already infected with or wanting to couple with someone who who is infected okay this information can open up a world of possibility to those who once saw impossibility with love prospects. And this is good news for people I've known who've remained in unhealthy relationships after becoming infected simply because they believed that their prospects were slim. Sadly, there are many people like this who suffer alone. I know about this because a friend of mine, despite waiting till her wedding night to consummate her second marriage, found herself diagnosed with herpes shortly thereafter. Little did she or her new husband know, but he had been carrying the virus from his first marriage when his first wife cheated on him with multiple partners. Neither were to blame, but of course the virus carries with it the social stigma which presumes otherwise. Unfortunately, a year after the marriage, she realized that they were better off as friends. Worse, she was a single mother over 40 years old and infected, which understandably gave her reason to doubt her prospects and see no better option than to remain in an unfit marriage. Similarly, another friend of mine shared how her mother simply wouldn't leave a man who clearly wasn't right for her. After she and her sisters repeatedly pressed their mother about leaving him, the mother finally confessed that he'd infected her with herpes and at such a late age stage in life, she saw her prospects for finding a better man were slim. Though the news was upsetting, the family finally understood, not necessarily agreed, but understood why their mother settled for staying with less of a man. I hope sharing the information on protecting your immune system and blocking the transmission of viruses helps you or someone you know to avoid these tragedies of the heart. It doesn't have to be. But again, because of the social stigma that keeps people suffering silently, the knowledge that protects and preserves life in this respect is not shared. So I hope you will share it if you know it will help someone get more of their life back. Now the downside of what I shared is that some people will take this information to mean that they can continue to play with sex as if it is some fire that will never burn. Personally, I believe there is mental and spiritual connection to physical conditions, a mind-body-spirit connection. In other words, disease in the sexual organs is the body's way of communicating some level of dis-ease in how one relates to their sexuality from a mental and spiritual perspective. For this reason, I'll talk about the subject of divine sexuality in the next blog post, Hot Monogamy, Is It Possible? And I hope you'll join me for that. Okay, so this is the addendum to um, the article. What I've learned in the past year and a half since I recently posted is that, you know, chlamydia is probably the most common STD that is spread. And um, I came across this article from Dr. Axe. I will probably put the link for it down below. I do want to quickly share it with you, just a general overview about this. Um, where they talk about the symptoms, um, and you can read that there, uh, but I, I'm not really, I'm more wanting to talk about uh, natural, natural treatments. And th these are the drugs that are typically prescribed, the antibiotics that are typically prescribed for people who are going through 
um, chlamydia and, and the side effects. And if you read it, and I'm not going to read it all out here, I'll have the link for those who do want to read it. Okay, but it's it's pretty bad. <laughs> it's like, th this is some rough stuff, you know, but here are the natural treatments in contrast, golden seal, echinacea, garlic, oil of oregano, and probiotics. And um, golden seal is a potent natural uh, antibiotic. It's, a, it's an alternative, right? Um, and doesn't come with all the side effects of those other prescription drugs that I just showed you on the screen. And there have been, yes, studies showing that it might be effective, an effective treatment with chlamydia. Um, it's a natural antibiotic, right, used as an immune system stimulant. Um, and yes, researchers have tested it during infection, such as chlamydia. And so it talks about how much to use, but not to use it for more than three consecutive weeks. That's how powerful this stuff is, by the way, folks. Um, echinacea, garlic, oil of oregano. Um, this, this is, you know, talking about a medicinal grade of this is a natural infection fighter. And, and it cites PubMed. Uh, giving scientific evidence-based literature listing 1,200 studies showing that it fights certain types of cancers and infections and many other conditions. So, but of course, pregnant and breastfeeding women should avoid oil of oregano. That's how powerful this stuff is. So um, if you want to read more, you can. Um, obviously, again, you know, the advice is, you know, take responsibility for your own health. Um, there might be extreme cases where uh, you do need a prescription drugs because maybe you let this thing sit for too long. And um, from what I'm hearing, the natural alternatives are effective, but it, it, it takes longer for them to to heal than the prescription. And again, each person is different. So, you know, it's not a one size fits all. You, you have to get professional advice and take, you know, make a final decision about what's right and fitting for your unique situation. But I think that um, we need more information like this out there so that people understand that they have alternatives, they have options, right? Um, and just generally, for those of you who are already healthy, um, look into what you can be doing on the day to day to simply protect yourself from any kind of attack upon your immune system. I think 2020 should have raised our awareness to that. And there's definitely a lot more resources out there showing um, how you can naturally use, you know, antiviral herbs to boost your immune system, fight viruses, right? With I've got a link for this if y'all want to look into that. And for those of you who want to know about this, um, this brand that of lubricant and gels that is said to um, kill the herpes virus, definitely read more about it. I've got the link here. I think it's important that people really look at the, you know, resources rather than just uh, immediately dismiss it because it's not getting press here in the United States. And we know, we should know from 2020 and, and especially this year, 2021, how trustworthy our government health agencies are. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely read this article if you want to know more about the product and its creator. I will put the links for these products and these news pieces in the comments down below. I will pin it to the top of the comments down below. Thanks for watching.